G'day everybody, it's uh, Michael here from Tech and Tools and today, if you can't tell, we're going to be building a computer. Um, specifically this is actually for my dad. Um, I'm trying to get him away from DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, so this is going to be a sort of a, um, a NAS build, um, network, attack store network attached storage sort of build. Um, he has a big rumpus room. Um, unfortunately he doesn't, um, excuse me, um, he doesn't have great access to Wi-Fi out there. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is obviously building this um, PC for him um, and downloading all of his movies. He's got hundreds and hundreds of movies um, and putting them um, uh, yeah, on, on the computer frame. So, because um, he has a big uh, 4K projector out there and a big screen that comes down and everything like that. So, um, uh, so yeah. So this is just for basically for him um, to enjoy it, to be able to um, um, yeah, do um, do everything he needs, and and then some. So. Um, uh, but the main reason being so he can watch uh, movies. So this, I will be installing uh, Plex. This will be a Plex media server basically uh, for, for my dad. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and have a look at the parts. Okay, to start this build off, um, a, um, a Plex server doesn't need to be particularly... Um, Hot, you know, it's not a gaming PC or anything like that. Um, excuse me. Um, so what I've gone with to start off with with a CPU um, is I've gone with a an Intel Core i5-10400 um, which is going to get integrated graphics. Um, so there's that. Um, and I'm mating that with a see that that is an MSI B560M Pro VDH Wi-Fi um, motherboard so um, in case he sorts out um, the Wi-Fi side of things eventually um, it's um, future future proofing it for him um, and um, RAM wise, um, starting him off with um, uh, eight gigabytes of DDR4. Um, see that thirty-two hundred megahertz, uh, CL sixteen, I think it is. Um, so one eight gig stick, I think should do the problem, um, do the do the job. Sorry for him. Um, in regards to the operating system. Um, I'll be running Windows, just Windows 10 for him, I think. Um, and that's um, on a crucial P2 250 gigabyte M.2 NVMe drive. So there's that and there's that. Uh, what else we got? Um, I'll be using a Thermal Tate Smart Series. Um, uh, what's it? A BX1 550 watt should take care of the um, power supply power supply issues. Um, now, my father is going to be using, um, like most Plex or NAS servers, um, he's not going to be using it all the time. Uh, when he wants to, he'll go out into his rumpus room. When he wants time away from from mum. <laughs> um, it, it's his man cave. He, um, and he'll just turn it on and watch a movie, watch a TV series or something like that and then turn it off. So I didn't go down the route of using um, NAS drives. So what I got him was um, an 8 terabyte um, Barracuda um, 3.5 inch hard disk drive which do the trick for now um, and have plenty of expansion for him, um, so let's get that out of the way. Um, I've got a couple of um, 
I actually ordered these a long time ago, so I finally get to use them. A couple of um, Corsair AF 140mm uh, red uh, fans, so um, yeah, Dad can have those. Um, I, I ordered 140s and said 120s for a build I did a long time ago. And we're also um, going to be building that in uh, the thermal take core V21, um, which um, is a fairly sort of boxy style case. Um, and I think will look good because he has um, his romper stream has it's a big romper stream, but he has two small rooms at the back, and one of them. Um, um, it reminds me of like a DJ room, it's got like a big window and that's where all his hi-fi gear is, all his stereo equipment is and um, this will be sitting in there and it'd be, um, yeah, um, so you won't hear anything um, and he's going to run a, um, uh, he'll, he'll be running a, um, a uh, display port uh, 4K to a 4 k display port cable from the motherboard um, through his wall to his um, setup, which then runs to his 4K projector. Um, so it's it's there's no Wi-Fi um, going to be used um, like you would sort of a normal um, like you would with like Netflix or anything like that or a normal Plex server. My Plex server at home. Um, I obviously access that through via my phone or via the TV or whatever and and play it and it's done via Wi-Fi but his is going to be actually um, uh, directly connected. Um, something else I got for him also was so he can s just sit outside um, once he sits down to watch a movie is a just a um, this is a Microsoft all-in-one media keyboard um, sorry about the glare um, comes with obviously a little um, obviously a small keyboard but it's obviously got a like a mouse attached to it so he can um, he can sit down there and type in what he wants um, um, movies and use it you know, use it as a mouse and not have to move um, and get up and get down and go into the other room and change things and stuff like that so yeah, something I got for him. Um, so yeah, um, so that uh, some other parts we need obviously to get a, get this going. Um, uh, it's always good to have a. I've got a magnetic dish to hold anything magnetic with bits and pieces. Um, oh, sorry, I almost forgot. Um, you see that? That is the Windows 10 Boot Media, which obviously you download. Type in Windows 10 installation media and get download onto a, a flash drive. Uh, also got a a drill or a screwdriver. I've got an electric one. Um, yeah, use whatever you got. Mine can go from a gun to um, gun style to a um, you know a sort of. A, Whatever, you know. Yeah, anyway, it works well. And also a I've got a small kit with all the weird connections out, you know, your torx bits and small screwdriver stuff, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, anyway, let's um uh let's get everything unboxed and let's start with getting the CPU mounted, um the RAM in on the motherboard. And then we'll um, get that installed in the case and then plug everything else in and get this show on the road. Okay, so the main components I'm going to start with are the obviously the motherboard, uh, installing the CPU and cooler, and obviously I'm only going with one, one stick of 8 gigabyte RAM running at 3200 megahertz at the moment. So yeah, let's get that unboxed and uh, I'll see you in a sec. Yeah. 
is the IO shield. Some SATA cables. That's for the Wi-Fi antenna. Wi-Fi antenna, some SATA cables. A sticker. And some standoffs for the M.2 drive and CDs, really? And blah blah blah. Right, so. So there we go, we got the motherboard out. Next obviously we want to get the CPU out. Um, something I didn't bring with me, which I should have, was a knife. So bear with me. Okie dokie. So cut that open. That to the side. Main thing we want is that, and obviously the other part here is the cooler, which uh, how do you get that out? Oh, it's childproof. I see. Oh, there we go. And oh, it comes pre applied with thermal paste as well. You can see that brilliant, awesome. So, I'll gently put that down there now. When you're lining up CPUs in regards to putting them in the um, motherboard, you also want to unhook this tray here pull this lever back. Now there will be on here a little arrow. There's a little arrow there that'll be pointing to a certain corner. So that'll be this corner here. So everything's different depending on whether it's AMD or Intel so be careful. Don't touch the bottom. Let's double check the arrow going to that corner. Just want to drop it in, seat it, pop that down, pop that in there, and that should come off. And that's that seated. Too easy. Now obviously next is the, we want to mount the, um, the fan. So where's the fan header on this one here? Um, CPU fan one over there. So I'll have to unhook this a bit. They drop in there like that. Is this going to go? This is going to run around like that. And with the Intels, you sort of push it down and twist them in. Push them down, twist them in. Push 
Pushing down, twist me. There we go. Down the ass. And then obviously you need to connect up the you still see me? CPU fan one. And then do some tucking. Hey guys. Um, sitting here editing the video, I actually took off the actual original um, uh, Intel cooler because I had this lying around, um, Cooler Master Hyper 212 LED Turbo um, cooler, which I used to have on my actual original my system in here. Um, being the fact that when I built this, my dad's dad's Plex. Um, and I had some red fans in there. These have got two red fans. This is a much better cooler anyway. I had it lying around. So I actually ended up taking off that cooler. An Intel standard cooler. Which is pretty lame. It would have done the job. But this the number one is going to do a much better job. Um, and it also looks cool. So yeah, just FYI. So um, in the um, further in the build and that when you see uh, uh, Dad's... Um, system, yeah, uh, you will see that it's actually got this cooler on it. Okay, so um, yeah, all right, let's keep going. The next thing is obviously installing the RAM. So we are going to pop. Now you have a look at the RAM. You'll see that this isn't central. All right, it's offset. So you need to make sure that corresponds with the board. So I'm going to pop that in dim slot 2, get it the right way, it should click, click, there we go, that is that, keep a lot of stuff over there. Now the next thing to go in, M.2 drive, uh, P2, Crucial P2, M.2, NVMe, 250 gigabytes. Let's crack this sucker open. Something suitable, there we go. I have a magnet on mine, I like to use personally. Now, when we put this in, that standoff is going to have to be there. So, let's crank that up. Oh, hang on a second. There was a little baggy. Ah, spare ones, yes. Just what I want. So it comes with the same sort of thing. So we're going to put one of them in there. Easier said than done. <laughs> Don't lose these things, they're extremely small. So we're going to put one in there. A nip, nip up. Going to pull out our drive. And a slider in there, and then this extremely small screw. Just going to want to go in there. Then we are going to want to put get the right way around that back on. Now, do don't forget to take off the heat the tape protecting that. This is for the heat. Help dissipate the heat. Not that this server is going to make much heat, but either way, 
it goes in, come back out. So we'll start with this one. Watch cool down all the way. Just get it started. And this one here too. Get it started. So now we can nip that one up. Nip that one up. There we go. That's all free spinning. Not going to get in the way of anything. And we're done for that side of it. So now we'll move on to uh, putting this in the case. Um, so I'll have to do a bit of case dismantling. Um, don't forget to put in your heat shield. How many people would forget to put this in? So we'll leave that here. We'll do a little bit of a tidy up and we'll get back to you. Okay, here's the thimble take. Uh, is it V21, Core V21? Uh, so it's just a case of uh, just dismounting this so we can um, get everything put, in, put together. So just bear with me while I pull it to bits and get it ready to install the motherboard, um, hard disk drive, power supply, and all that. So, yep, yeah, let's get into it. Actually, before I go any further, I will say that this has got quite a good a lot of um, ventilation for a star, um, and I've got a lot of a lot of good filtration. Um, you can't sort of tell from the back here, but it has got from filtration um, at the front intake there. Obviously, you've got a big 200 mil fan here. Um, you've got magnetic dust filters on the top the sides and also oh, okay. careful to tilt it backwards you've also um, where the power supply goes you've got a little dust tray um, which is really cool um, help keep um, as much dust out as we can is always a good thing so let's keep cranking this apart And there we go. Let's pop that cover off. Just got a little C3 panel. Add some bling. What have we got in here? So screws and bits and bobs and whatnot. And of course. All of the lovely cables you love to connect. So, pop this back a bit. And we'll crack into this. Now. So we want, you want the intake, oh it's got some peel, yay, anyway, you want the intake facing the bottom. Oh the bottom comes off, ah, let's see that. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we'll put those screws in here so we can lose them. There we go. So, 
fan face in the bottom. Where are those screws? Here they are. So let's tuck it one back up in here. Let's put the bottom cover back on. There you go, I'm into an, uh, if you're building in this chassis, um, take the bottom off to put the power supply in. It's all hooked in, alright. Alright. So, now we can pop these back on, which are 2.5 inch drives. There's a lot of space for hard drives in this, it's quite, quite cool actually. Before we get too far into this, is actually mount a 3.5 inch drive. Now, normally, being a NAS like a network attached storage or a Plex server, you would use a, like a NAS grade. But as I was saying, my dad will just turn this on, watch a movie, a TV show on his projector and then turn it off. So that's why I went with just a normal eight terabyte Seagate instead of a NAS. Um, obviously to save some dollars, but he's um, not gonna be running it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so yeah, that's why. So let's put that in here. Yes, this can bolt on. So I'm going to find some bolts. Jackpot the first time. There we go. Alright, rock and roll. Let's check this bad boy in. Click. Alrighty. Now it's just a case of. Running what you need and running what you don't need. Um, oh, let's, let's do some little bit of wiring, cable wiring. So that there. This stuff is. I/O. This stuff. Motherboard power, 24 pin, and we need one of these to go down here. So 
So that would be a uh, GPU. That's Molex, which we don't need. Some more SATA stuff. More SATA stuff. So CPU. All right. So what we can do is actually plug this in. Let's actually pull this drive out. Make our lives a bit easier. can actually plug this in. Now they only go in one way, it's a little L shape. You can see that little L shape. Let me just turn this camera around a bit. It's not really facing me the best. Sorry, my bad. Videography, not my strong suit. There we go, and over here we had some cables, so we're going to go with this one here, because it locks in, so we'll, once again, it's got like an L shape, click it in, we can put this drive back in. The rest of this stuff, about that, I need that. Let's just sort this out. I need the 24, I need the 8 pin. I don't need that one. The rest of this stuff can actually. Cable tied up and popped out of the way. So, I give you a cable tie, why not use it? Because we've only got one drive, so. down like that. The rest of that cord we will cable tie up as well. Uh, sorry if you can't see this. So I've left out the 24 pin and the 8 pin CPU power. This is all, I've left that out, that's obviously the data. So we've got power going to the, um, the 8 terabyte SS um, 3.5 inch hard disk drive. This will go to the motherboard. This is all stuff we'll plug into the motherboard. This is all stuff we don't need at the moment, which can just sit down here out the way. So, all right. So now it's time to pop in the motherboard. So, ah, uh -huh. I asked you, don't forget that. So, that will go in that way. Click, 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 click. Beautiful. Now it looks like they've got sort of pre-made standoffs here. Let's just make sure that they're in the right positions. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, I think it really is. So it's just a case of slipping the motherboard in. Like such. It all looks good. 
Now it's time to find the right bolts. Bolt down. And there you go. So leave everything loose until you've got everything together. Once you've got all the nuts and bolts in, then you can tighten it all up. That's it. Alright, tighten the can. Give them a nip. Don't have to tighten them up like Hercules. Just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. thing is I want to run turn this around I want to run that power cord it's your 8 pin, eight pin. So we've got a 24 pin and an 8 pin CPU power so what can we do with this one here it. No, I don't like that. Let's take these out. For a sec. Yeah, that's better. And we will plug. Oop, wrong way around. Plug that into there. Run that down the corner here, and we can put these back in. We'll chuck that one back in. And then we have now these these plugs only go in one way, so you can't get confused. Um, little tabs. No tab, a little tab to undo it, and there's a little catch on one side and not the other. Just down like that. There's a lot to tuck in down there, so I'm going to bear with me. So that's that done. Not too much strain on that. <sighs> now it comes the fun bit. I say that sarcastically because we have to plug all this in. We'll start with. What's this? HD audio. They're labelled at the bottom here, you can't really get them wrong. 
Um, if you're not sure, have a look on the pins themselves. Um, let me zoom in. See, it's missing a pin. Just find the corresponding. Let me zoom out again. Sorry. Find the corresponding header. It's missing that same pin. I'm getting old. I feel like damn glasses have to look. And you can't go wrong. If you have to force anything with a PC, you're doing it wrong. Alright. What's this? Oh, that's a fan. So where are we going to put you? Should be a fan header somewhere. System fan number two. So, we're going to snake you under here. I wonder if we can snake you up and connect you there. Nah, because I'm going to put a fan there. And a fan up here, so... I'm going to connect that to... System fan 1. USB 3.0, it's such a huge cable. It only goes in one way, so you can't get that wrong. It's such a big cable. So what I want to do, I might actually... Tuck in there, and then everybody's favorite front panel connectors. <sighs> Gotta love them. So, generally, front pan the front panel connectors are you get a power switch, a power LED plus and minus reset switch, and a hard disk drive LED plus and minus. Switch reset switch and I'll destroy positive and negative. There we go. And now it's just a case of tidying it up. Underneath here, just like you did with all the other cables. Shoving is a good idea, <laughs> but I personally prefer to tidy up a little bit better than that. That, like that, 
Voila! Now, now because this is um, just a, a server for my dad, um, we don't need a graphics card. This has got integrated uh, graphics um, in the i5-10400, um, Core i5-10400, so um, no need for a graphic card. Basically we've got everything buttoned up. We've got power going to the um, yeah, power going for the CPU power, 24, uh, 24 pin power, 8 pin CPU power. We have got power going to the 8 terabyte hard drive, uh, the data cable going uh, there. We have the front fan. Um, connected, we have USB 3.0, these things here, uh, we got the reset switch, the power switch, um, high definition audio, which is your mic, uh, yeah, mic and your headphones, done, so it's just a case of really putting everything back, back together, um, and helping it pass, actually before that, sorry, I think I forgot a Wi-Fi antennas. So Wi-Fi antennas just screw in, lift them up, lift them up, go like that. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of fans in. Now, um, as I said, I ordered these wrong once. Uh, they're 140 mil. Um, there's a big 200 millimeter intake, so I think we'll have these both as exhaust. So let's rip this out. Rip these out. It should say on these somewhere which direction it blows. Pretty sure it says it on there somewhere. If not, generally that side there is where it sucks it in from. So I'm going to pop this one like this and find the appropriate screws. Is that one done? And yeah, that's nice and neat. Yeah, it is. I like that. That's pretty good. Can snip that extra bit off and connect that on that to that. Connect that there. That looks quite neat there. Mind that, and the other one, I think I'll put directly above it. There we go. Now, to run that, let's just do this around. So we've Run it down here. You can run it along here to this fan header. And what we can do is this. Yoink. Yeah. 
see that one. No, it's just a case of popping everything back on. The side panel for this one went on. And, oh, the peel. <laughs> and this is the side that's going to be your pain. Yeah, I'm right for a start. But it went on. Sweet. And then, last but not least... Pick up the kids. Damn it. Alright. So that's it together. Uh, obviously, I have to go pick my kids up. Um, we'll come back and we'll see if it posts. All right, time to see if it turns on and posts. So I've got power connected. Let's turn. Oh, shit. Power on. Uh, can't see any lights on inside. Um, I've left this plastic protector on because it's still going to go to my dad's house if it works. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's turning on. Two fans spinning. Is that fan spinning? I think that fan's spinning. Let's try it this time. Try it this time. It's my hat. Hey, yes, works. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to try and chuck this in. Yes. That means I can remove that stinking old keyboard. And I can use my dad's new one, which I've got for him. Which is something. Okay, so we, what do we want? We want settings. We want boot. Boot option one.
Okay, let's try that. That's different. Oh, we've got movement at the station. Yes, Fish Australia. It's under. Yeah. Next, install now. Yes. Yay! So there you go. I don't have a product key at the moment. Go Windows 10 Pro. Next. Yeah, I accept the terms and the conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. Oh, okay. Fine. I have a product key. Windows 10 Pro. Next. It's still Windows only. So we want to install it on the on that drive. And we are off. So this takes a while, so um, we'll get back to you once it's all installed and um, I'll show you how to set up the Plex side of things. Um, yeah, so bear with me.